am Mark and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. Well, today it's going to be about Prince Faza. So we're going to see about the uh, the fun prince, the uh, businessman prince, and the royal prince. Uh, we'll see what's going on with him. We'll see if we can get an update. Uh, I don't know how cheery it's going to be. So I hope you like the video. If you like the video, please do like the video. And if you haven't uh, subscribed, please subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. Okay, so here we go. We're going to talk about uh, Prince Faza. We're going to talk about his fun side. We're going to talk about his business side and the royal part of him. And hopefully we'll, th with all of that, we'll get an insight into his uh, personal uh, feelings and uh, maybe even his love life. No guarantees on that because that's been very uh, secretive. I thought these golden uh, Art Nouveau tarot would be great uh, for this. They're very sparkly and, uh, um, and I, uh, I just think they're exactly... Uh, what that royal family uh, represents, kind of. <clears throat> so, Prince Faza. So, I had a, quite a few requests uh, for this reading. I don't just uh, much keep track of what's happening in that part of the world, sadly. Um, but uh, we'll see what the cards can tell us. Uh, I, I get the feeling that um, he's really stifled. But uh, before we do anything, before we talk too much, let's have just a moment of meditation. Faza. So he's the chosen one. He will be the um, you know, the replacement of his father. Not that his brothers don't have important uh, jobs also. Let's see what the cards have to say about the prince. I think I'm going to do a full Celtic cross and uh, see if that helps us um, decipher a little bit about this man. So Prince Faza. So that's going to be 10 cards, but we'll do six uh, to begin with, and then another um, four after that. One, two, three, four, five, six. I have a feeling that this video is lagging behind, and I won't be able to fix it after I filmed it. So um, hopefully for the next one will be better. Signifier card for Prince Faza, and it could, you know, this could have something to do with his, with his, with his reading. Actually, he may feel like he has to lag behind reality. But the uh, signifier card for Prince Faza is Wands, and this is the Queen of Wands. So Wands are actions, plans, forward movement. The Queen of Wands is secondary to the King, and it must be where he feels at best right now. Uh, the Queen of Wands uh, does have a big plan, uh, fruitful ready to go with intuition fully on uh, her side or his side in the case of Faza, but it's a, it's a waiting game and this queen looks very patient. The challenge to that the signifier card being the queen of wands is, um, well, of course it is the emperor. So this is the four of the major arcana. The emperor is his father. The challenge to Faza is his father. The basis of all of this, well, yeah, is the six of uh, sword, swords are truth, justice, rules, and law. Truth, justice, rules, and law. And uh, this is Faza uh, paddling the, you know, his people to safety out of troubled water. So this is his concern. It's the basis of all of this. Uh, dedicating his life to taking care of the people. In the past of this uh, reading for uh, the Prince, look at this, is the Four of Swords. Swords, truth, justice, rules, and law. And so we have, uh, it's, it's a card that cautions us, don't get up too swiftly. Take a moment to you know, contemplate the situation, but it's in the past. So this moment has passed. And uh, so hopefully his plans are fully formed. In the sky of this reading, 
is ah a new journey so in the sky this is what is to come the best thing you can hope for it's a zero the major arcana this is the joker he's off on a new journey he just has enough to uh, take him off he's not uh, he's blinded almost by the sunlight even though it's coming from the reverse but to the fact that you know he's almost ready to step off this cliff maybe his conscience or some guiding uh, power will keep him safe but that's a lot of what's in the sky this reading for the prince and in the uh, final outcome for this first part of this Celtic cross is um, oh my god is the tower card so this is a crumbling uh, burning uh, addled uh, tower okay and um, you have people falling out you have the crown uh, toppled off the top and this is uh, the likely outcome of the first part of this so this could just be referring to when his father uh, finally does um, for whatever reason, pass on the, the, all the full authorities to him. Now, the last um, cards for this, for this full Celtic cross for Prince Faza, I want to concentrate on his personal life. Okay. The very signifier of that question, the very definition of that question, what about his personal life? Okay, so in the personal life, we it's, it, he is the king of his actions in his personal life. So he's having very much authority in that regard. Okay, but he doesn't look particularly happy um, when you peel back all the layers. So he's the king of wands, king of actions. He is in charge of what's happening in his personal life. The uh, environment that that's in, however, is of course this uh, ace of cups being the crown, child, the chosen one, the sun is shining, a great big offer of hope, peace dove landing in the cup. So that's the challenge to um, his love life. And in the uh, sky of this reading, uh, or the hopes and the fears for him, is uh, the hopes and the fears. So the swords of truth, justice, rules, and law, the seven of swords, is a um, theft and betrayal. And so that is a fear here. There's some element of betrayal I'm going to say more than theft. Interesting. Seems like that's always um, a key factor from that part of the world. And then the uh, final outcome for this is, well, yeah, the Hierophant. Yeah, he will be the, the leader. Okay. And uh, it will be glorious and everyone will uh, bow to him and he will have equal respect as to what his father has. So uh, the personal life is all overshadowed by the fact that he is going to be the uh, the one. So that's where his mind is. Hey, I'm going to show you the cards now. Hang on a minute. So this is another Los Carabillo, the Golden Art Nouveau Tarot. And so these are super gilded is what's the deal with these. All in the Rider Waite uh, iconography kind of. And a typical uh, instruction booklet that's, you know, not that great and a little bit difficult to read. But the um, what's good here is in the cards. They're kind of handy to use, so that's all good. And look how beautiful they are. I don't know if it shows up as well on the camera as it does in person, but when you use these in person, I mean, they are really stunning and someone feels like they're getting their money's worth. So we mix them up like this so that we kind of get our, our uh, energy into the cards and sometimes it's good to let the querent um, you know, get their hands on them just for a minute and then people get more involved. You know, once you've touched it, it's, uh, it's more appealing. So here we go, we'll get this going. 